guess what I really like about art history is that, you know, it's a way to reclaim like what happened in the past. Like you look at ancient like cave paintings to now like statues and paintings and now graphic design that you can do on a computer. It really just is a way to know where you've come from and where we're going. I am a visual learner and I absolutely love history um, so much. Actually adding an image to history is so powerful for me beyond words. I can't even explain it. Um, because understanding a culture or a group of people from so long ago through an actual work of art from their time, I don't think you can beat something like that. I became particularly interested in how art can communicate political ideas and religious ideas. And I kind of look at art almost like a puzzle to, to be decoded or to be better understood. In order to, to fully understand a work of art, you have to put it into its context. It's hard to put yourself in their shoes, but when you can actually see a sculpture or architecture or even like a sort of image from that time, it makes it that much more real and it really helps you to understand their culture a little bit better. My name is Rachel Folk. I teach art history here at Ferris State University. So my name is Shelby Sabraski. So my major is graphic design and my minor is art history. My name is Casey Krogman and my major is secondary social studies education with minors in English and art history. Some people have um, taken what they have learned in the minor um, and gone on to do interesting things in graduate school. You get to look at really cool stuff. I mean, we are talking about stuff that's made a huge impact. So there are career paths that one can take that are directly related to art history. You expose yourself to a lot of different cultures, a lot of different ideas, so perhaps a greater awareness. Art history fits really well within education, especially for visual learners, because it gives them a chance to see, actually see an event that happened in history. I think that art history definitely will add to my major of graphic design in many ways that over time I'll find beneficial, but for right now looking towards the future, I know that I'll have a better aspect of knowing design, being able to appreciate where it's come from, where it's going. Art historians study works of art to understand human culture and society. We look at paintings, we look at sculpture, we look at works of architecture, um, photographs, prints, and we're interested in the ideas and the values that people want to communicate with these various visual media. It fits really well with um, social studies in English. Um, I feel like art history is something that you can really bring into a lot of different fields. So art historians are really concerned with studying visual culture um, in order to understand um, ourselves and understand our cultural ancestors. So I would really recommend to anyone thinking about art history, definitely look into it and take advantage of it. Because it's not just like a class, it's a trip. It's a lot more than just Big Rapids, Michigan. This opportunity through Ferris, you get to go on a study abroad trip and so you get to go way beyond the classroom to really hands-on learn how to classify this art, how to view it, how to appreciate it. You can read all you want in a textbook where here you actually have like proof, you have paintings, sculptures, mosaics, everything. Art history pertains to so many different parts of society and when you look at literature and writing, you can see, when you look at ancient paintings, for example, you can see that within the painting. You can see what the cultures valued. And especially with history, we can look back at ancient sculptures and ancient paintings. For example, like if you were to look at a document, like the Declaration of Independence, for example, when you can actually fit a painting with that document, which there are paintings that really like fit with that document from the time, um, it really adds such so much more power to a historical event. So 
I, th I would recommend art history courses to anybody that's interested in studying human beings and anyone that's interested in understanding how visual media are important tools of expression that human beings have used essentially forever. Art history, I think, has a wide appeal because it touches on so many of the things that concern us as human beings.